welcome to this guide on how to program your new Retavis RT3 radio or TYT MD380. Now just to explain, that is the same radio. The TYT MD380 and the RT, Retavis RT3, it is the same radio in principle. It's running the same firmware. The programming software is absolutely identical. And if you were to hold the two radios side by side, physically they are exactly the same radio. The code plugs are completely interchangeable. So if you write a code plug for the Retavis RT3, it will work on the TYT and vice versa at the moment. So this is completely, uh, this program uh, or, or video is designed for both radios. Now first of all we're just going to work on the principle that you are brand new to DMR. You've never used DMR before, you've got your DMR radio sat in front of you, you've, you've, you've turned it on uh, but of course you can't do anything because it's not been programmed for you. You've got a programming cable and we're going to talk you through how to get started. So first of all you should have a cable that plugs into the right hand side of the radio. Uh, this will only go one way with the wire sticking out the top and you'll have a USB plug on the other end. Now the USB plug, you need to plug that into uh, a USB socket on your PC. Now it can't be uh, plugged into a hub, it must be plugged directly into a PC because it needs to use all the power that it can and the power is shared when you use a hub. So it has to be directly into your personal computer. Once the radio is turned on, you won't be able to hear anything coming out the radio because of this this uh, plug, the programming plug that's plugged into the side. So it's very important that when you when you're programming, um, you know you've got this this plugged in. Uh, keep the bat, make sure the battery is fully charged. What we don't want is the battery to discharge during the writing process that we're going to go through in a few moments' time. Now the easiest thing to do is to download a code plug that's already been written and to learn how to adjust that code plug um, you know, and how to add to that code plug yourself. Now we'll start you off by introducing you to the website that you can see on screen. This is gb7km.com, um, the part of the Southwest DMR group. We have um, various different code plugs which you can see here on the right hand side, top right hand corner code plugs, uh, various different code plugs with various different radios. Now the whether you've got the Retavis or the TYT, they're all stored under the Retavis uh, directory. If you were to go into the TYT it will tell you to come into Retavis and you'll see the RT3 which is their DMR model and you will first of all notice that these code plugs you can't see the full name in this display so you will click this little button up here list view and immediately you'll see the full file names and the convention here is radio model uh, year month and then day so the most recent one here is is the 26th which we uploaded on the 26th of january uh, for those of you that haven't managed to install the software yet uh, before watching this video, you can do that now. You can go here into the programming software and drivers if you've not already downloaded it from the Retavis or TYT websites and uh, you'll find that both the driver and the program uh, is in here. So we're now making the assumption, of course, that uh, you have installed the programming software. If you haven't, pause this video, go away and install the software uh, before uh, continuing to play this video. So now we're going to download the latest code plug and we're going to use that as your introduction. So we'll talk you through on the next video uh, what, uh, how, how, to, how the code plug can be changed and adapted. But this video is going to concentrate on how to get this code plug installed into your radio for the first time and how to get it set up for the first time. So we're going to click on here and you don't have any options other than to download. So we're going to hit download and then you'll be able to confirm where you want. So I'm gonna put it onto the desktop for now and just hit save, and that will save this file nicely onto the desktop. And I'm gonna come out of here, it's now saved it. I don't need the website anymore. So I'm just gonna move that away for one moment. And we're going to load the Retivis software. is easier said than done I'm 
Okay, there we are. So that's the Retivist software now loaded on my screen. Now, if we come into channel information, you'll see that those, there's just going to be nothing in here because we haven't actually programmed anything. We haven't uploaded our code plug. So uh, once we've got our radio connected, install your radio, put the programming lead in the right hand side. Uh, USB cable, as I say, plug it directly into the PC. The first thing we're going to do is make a backup of the code plug that is currently in your radio. Now, this is always a good idea to do with any radio, is to always back up your factory default settings. So we're going to come in and we're going to read what's on the radio at the moment. So you press read and then hit OK. And assuming that you've connected the radio properly, it will read the information and ignore what you're seeing on screen there. And you've got your code plug um, that's in the radio. Your factory default code plug will now be uh, loaded up onto your computer. Now it's important at this stage, let's just save that. So we're going to call it something like um, factory default code plug. So if all else fails, we can always go back to factory settings. So that's done. Now what we're going to do is now set the radio up with the code plug that we downloaded from the website a few minutes ago. So this time we're now going to go to open and find the code plug, which is there. Hit open and that loads it up on screen. And again, to test that, we can just go into channel information. You'll see lots and lots of information will now be showing there. Now, before we write this to the radio, we need to add two bits of very important information. Now, the first bit of information we need to just put in is up here in the general settings. We need to add the radio name. So you put your call sign and what a lot of people do is also put a hyphen and put their name. For the radio ID, then you just need to put your radio ID number. Now that should start with 234 or 235. Uh, if you're based in the UK, of course. Uh, if you don't, if you if you're thinking, well, I don't have one of these ID numbers, you can apply for these on the internet. Now, if you go on to uh, CC3Net, which is CC-3.net www.cc-3.net uh, you can actually come through here now there's a lot of information this is gets very very complicated if, if you want to go through this then great but uh, it, it can get very complicated um, and what you can do is come onto here and so you need to come into the information page come down to links and you'll see a uh, second option down DMR registration just click on that and you can work through this process to actually set up a DMR ID now you will need a copy of your license if you haven't already got one and of course you can download that electronically from Ofcom uh, so like I said we're making some assumptions that you've also created your DMR ID here so you put your DMR ID in here change the 234 uh, to whatever your your call sign uh, your DMR ID is, so let's just make the assumption it's that. And we also suggest replicating the same information down here at the bottom of the screen. Now this all this does is tells you what's going to show on the screen when you first turn the radio on. Now, as silly as it might sound, we we've suggested people put their call sign and DMR ID here just purely because uh, we we've seen it so many times where people show you know take their radio to a club or a gathering or what have you, and of course it's very difficult for people to identify who the radio belongs to but when they turn it on. Uh, they're going to see a call sign a DMR ID, so we suggest putting that information here. Um, so let's just do that. So two three four nine 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 and G. 0 x x x uh, and then all we would do to install it back onto the radio is just press the right button and then hit OK and that will upload this code plug onto the radio for you as soon as you've done that the radio will now be working and or will now be ready to go and uh, you can remove the programming cable and start to have a look around the radio Look at the next video for more information on how to use the code plug and how to make changes.